Embark on a celestial journey, an exploration of the unfathomable beauty and complexity of our universe. Every image, every pixel, carries with it a story of cosmic birth, evolution, and demise. From dying stars casting off their gaseous cloaks to galaxies colliding in a dance of gravity, we witness the grand symphony of celestial phenomena. This is a timeless saga of light and shadow, of the immense and the infinitesimal, inviting us to marvel at the mysteries that lie beyond our terrestrial home. Let's delve in and immerse ourselves in the cosmic ballet of the cosmos. Number 1. Pandora's Cluster Venture with me into the cosmos as we unlock the secrets of a spectacle known as Pandora's Cluster. Imagine for a moment, gazing upon an ethereal canvas of approximately 50,000 sources of near-infrared light, each pinprick of illumination having journeyed across unimaginable distances before coming into the focus of our cutting-edge space equipment. These shining markers reflect the majesty of the universe, a portrait of stars, galaxies, and the empty space between, encapsulated within a single snapshot. An eye-catching feature, a star from our very own galaxy, presents a curious pattern towards the right of the snapshot's center. It emits what are known as diffraction spikes, characteristic artifacts caused by the interaction of light with the telescope's structure. Amid the tableau, Clusters of radiant white points surrounded by an ethereal mist represent the galaxies within Pandora's cluster. What makes this cluster extraordinary? It's a staggering collection of already sizable clusters of galaxies merging to form an astronomical heavyweight, a mega cluster. This intense mass concentration bends the very fabric of space-time, as if gravity is kneading a cosmic dough, leading to an intriguing phenomenon. Have you ever peered through a magnifying glass, witnessing the world in extreme close-up? Imagine now a cosmic version of this device, a gravitational lens created by the gravitational effect of the megacluster. This lens offers astronomers an exclusive ticket to view otherwise elusive sources of light far, far beyond the cluster, rendering visible what was once hidden. In our snapshot, these gravitationally lensed entities present themselves as red smears, often shaped like elongated brush strokes due to the warping caused by the gravitational lens. These scarlet arcs are believed to be galaxies from the universe's early years, their contents amplified and elongated, waiting patiently for astronomers to decipher their stories. But not all red spots have had their identities confirmed. Take a moment to consider a mystery, a red speck that remains resolutely tiny even under the amplifying effects of the gravitational lens. Could it be a supermassive black hole from the early universe? Scientists are eager to delve deeper, employing instruments such as the near-infrared spectrograph, NERSPEC. This tool can determine not only the distance of these objects, but also reveal vital clues about their composition. In this way, Pandora's cluster and its myriad sources of light represent a treasure trove of information, just waiting to be unlocked. Each new discovery, each source analyzed and understood, brings us one step closer to piecing together the intricate puzzle that is our universe. Isn't it fascinating how the universe continues to reveal its secrets, one cosmic snapshot at a time? Number 2. Dwarf Galaxy WLM Behold a captivating scene from the dwarf galaxy known as Wolf Lundmark Malat WLM. Dwarf galaxies are small galaxies composed of about 100 million to several billion stars, a small number compared to our Milky Way's 200, 400 billion stars. Now imagine two snapshots taken by two different yet advanced space telescopes, Spitzer and James Webb. Each frame is a story of light, stars, and distance, captured with remarkable clarity and precision. The image on the left is a product of Spitzer Space Telescope's infrared array camera, while the one on the right is a testimony to James Webb Space Telescope's near-infrared camera. James Webb's lens reveals its astounding capacity to identify faint stars located outside the boundaries of the Milky Way. Such a capability is invaluable, as it enables us to expand our knowledge about celestial bodies that are far from our own galactic neighborhood. Now, let's delve a bit deeper into what colors signify in these images. In the Spitzer's picture, the cyan and orange hues you see aren't just for visual appeal. 
they signify different wavelengths of light. Cayenne represents 3.6 micron light, and the orange color stands for 4.5 micron light. Remember, microns are a unit of measurement for the wavelength of light, and different wavelengths can offer unique insights about a celestial body's properties. Thus, understanding the meaning behind these colors can reveal crucial information about the characteristics of the dwarf galaxy WLM. Isn't it incredible to consider what we can discern about the cosmos simply by looking at it through different lenses, each offering us a unique perspective of the universe's grandeur? Number 3. Max 0647. Prepare to journey into the intriguing world of galaxy cluster, Max 0647. This is not an ordinary cluster. In fact, the gravitational force it exerts is so immense that it operates like a colossal cosmic lens. But what exactly does that mean? To explain, consider a simple magnifying glass. It bends and enlarges the light coming from an object, making the object appear larger. Mach 0647 does something similar, but on a much grander scale. Its massive gravity bends and magnifies the light from more distant cosmic systems, such as the Mach 0647 JD. But Mach 0647 doesn't stop there. Not only does it magnify the light, but it also triples it causing the image of the JD system to appear not once, not twice, but three separate times. Imagine looking at a mirror that reflects not just one, but three images of the same object. In the image captured, you can see three white boxes, each marking a different image of the JD system, creatively labeled JD1, JD2, and JD3. If you were to peer into these boxes, you'd see zoomed-in views displayed in the panels to the right. Each box offers a closer look at these replicated cosmic scenes. Isn't it mind-boggling how the laws of physics play out in the vastness of space? How gravity, the very force that keeps us grounded on Earth, can perform such extraordinary feats at the cosmic level. This phenomenon showcases the intricate beauty of the universe, where even the largest galaxy clusters can act as celestial mirroring lenses, revealing multiple perspectives of distant systems. Number 4. Exoplanet HIP 65426b. Are you ready for a kaleidoscopic journey into the cosmos? Our destination, the exoplanet HIP 65426b, will explore this alien world through the eyes of the James Webb Space Telescope with a vibrant palette of infrared light. Each color in the image symbolizes a different band of infrared light and thus represents a unique snapshot of the exoplanet. A shade of royal purple reveals the view from the NERCAM instrument at 3.00 microns, while a soothing blue showcases the view at 4.44 microns, also from NERCAM. Moving further along the spectrum, we see a golden yellow hue that represents the MIRI instrument's view at 11.4 microns, and finally, a fiery red which stands for the MIRI instrument's view at 15.5 microns. But why do these colors differ? The reason lies in the way each of the web's instruments captures light. As different types of light hit these instruments, they respond by producing these distinct colors. Now, consider a common obstacle astronomers face, the bright light of a host star obscuring the vision of its accompanying planet. To overcome this, James Webb employs a set of masks within each instrument, known as a coronagraph. This feature cleverly blocks out the host star's light, allowing the planet to take center stage. In these images, a tiny white star indicates the location of the host star, HIP 65426, which, thanks to the coronagraphs and some impressive image processing, has been subtracted or removed from the scene. Lastly, don't be fooled by the bar shapes in the NERCAM images. These intriguing shapes aren't celestial bodies or extraterrestrial messages, but artifacts resulting from the telescope's optics. Doesn't it inspire awe to think about how far human technology has come, allowing us to capture such detailed, vivid images of exoplanets billions of kilometers away? The blend of science, technology, and cosmic wonder in each snapshot paints a truly mesmerizing picture of our universe. Number 5. Stefan's Quintet, Miri Style Let's embark on a cosmic journey to visit Stefan's Quintet, a visually striking ensemble of five galaxies. The state-of-the-art mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, has illuminated this celestial grouping like never before, unveiling layers of intricate detail. Picture this, the MIRI, 
with its keen mid-infrared vision, slices through the dust-covered expanses, revealing an intriguing drama. Imagine witnessing gigantic shockwaves and enormous tidal tails, streams of gas and stars that have been stripped away from the galaxy's outer layers due to their intricate dance. Hidden nooks cradling starbirth are also illuminated, adding to the grandeur of the scene. The treasures unveiled by the Miri contribute invaluable knowledge towards understanding how these galactic interactions might have influenced galaxy evolution in the universe's early days. To paint this cosmic picture in even more detail, specialists at the Space Telescope Science Institute utilized an additional Miri filter compared to the previous Nearcom Miri composite picture. In this image, a blend of red, green, and blue colors corresponding to the three Miri filters distinctly differentiate the galaxy features and the shock waves echoing between them. What do these colors represent? The red signifies the dusty cradles of star formation, incredibly distant early galaxies, and galaxies wrapped in dense dust. Blue points indicate stars or star clusters unaffected by dust, while the diffuse blue areas signal dust enriched with large hydrocarbon molecules. Small scattered galaxies in the backdrop glow green and yellow, indicative of distant early galaxies abundant with these hydrocarbons. The showstopper within Stefan's Quintet is NGC, 7319, the topmost galaxy. Nestled within it is a supermassive black hole weighing in at a colossal 24 million times the mass of our Sun. It is active, consuming material and emitting light energy equating to 40 billion suns. The Miri's sharp vision penetrates the dust surrounding this black hole, revealing the remarkably bright active galactic nucleus. Adding to the spectacle, the Miri's advanced sensitivity detected a myriad of previously unresolved background galaxies, reminiscent of the well-known Hubble's deep fields. Interestingly, despite being labeled a quintet, only four galaxies are engaged in a cosmic ballet. The fifth, NGC 7320, stands apart in the foreground. This unique positioning offers astronomers a front row seat to witness the merging and interactions pivotal to galactic evolution. This interaction triggers star formation, and observing this in such detail is a rare and precious opportunity for scientists. Hence, Stefan's Quintet serves as an exceptional cosmic laboratory for studying these fundamental processes. Finally, the group's proximity, though still millions of light years away, helps us better comprehend structures seen in far more distant galaxies. Observing these relatively nearby celestial bodies is a step towards understanding the universe's past and possibly its future. And who knows what other secrets this quintet might reveal as we continue to explore the cosmos? Number six, the luminous nursery, the birth and spectacle of NGC, 3603 star cluster. Imagine a grand cosmic opera where stars are the main characters, narrating an epic story of creation and transformation. This awe-inspiring drama unfolds in the star-forming region known as NGC 3603. Nestled within the sprawling expanse of our Milky Way galaxy, this region harbors one of the most captivating young star clusters known to astronomers. This cluster isn't just scattered across the celestial canvas, rather, it sits comfortably enveloped within a cosmic nursery teeming with an abundance of gas and dust. This isn't your everyday run-of-the-mill nursery. Instead, it's an incredibly active stellar foundry that witnessed an unprecedented burst of star creation roughly a million years ago. Close your eyes and transport your imagination back to this time. Picture a seemingly serene cloud of gas and dust, a celestial sea of tranquility. Then, without warning, a grand spectacle unfolds. There is a sudden, frenzied burst of activity as countless stars ignite into existence, piercing the darkness with their brilliant light. At the very heart of this cluster, you'll find a constellation of blue stars, their surfaces raging with heat and energy. Their hue, an intense cobalt blue, is a testament to their high surface temperatures, a characteristic of their youth and size. They shine not just as celestial beacons but as cosmic sculptors, their energy so immense that they've managed to carve an expansive cavity into the surrounding gas. This dramatic hollow, a testament to the power of these stars, 
is strikingly visible to the right of the star cluster nestled in the center of NGC 3603. It stands as a beacon, echoing the transformative power of these stellar entities. The story of NGC 3603 is an extraordinary tale of how the universe works. From the serene tranquility of gas and dust, a vibrant cluster of stars burst forth, forever etching their existence onto their celestial surroundings. Every discovery we make in these cosmic nurseries provides insights into the enigmatic processes of starbirth, the evolution of galaxies, and the intricate workings of our cosmos. Each step in our exploration is a stride towards decoding the grand narrative of our infinite universe. Number 7. Unveiling the Cosmic Balloon – The Intricate Beauty of the Bubble Nebula In the Grand Theater of the Cosmos, the Bubble Nebula, also known as NGC 7635, presents a spectacular act. This ethereal formation, lying approximately 8,000 light-years away in the constellation Cassiopeia, was recently imaged by astronomers with UNI. This nebula is no ordinary celestial entity. It's akin to an enormous, luminous bubble gently floating in the celestial sea. It falls into the category of emission nebulae, specifically in H2 region. This means it's a vast cloud of glowing gas, ionized by the radiant energy of embedded hot young stars. Earlier imagery captured with Hubble's wide-field planetary camera, one provided valuable insights, but left many questions hanging in the cosmic winds. The previous data suffered from calibration issues, limiting its scientific usability and failing to illuminate the intricate details of the nebula's elusive inner structure. However, the newly acquired imagery promises a better understanding of this celestial enigma. For the first time, scientists can decipher the nebula's unique geometry and dynamic behavior. This pivotal moment marks a significant leap in our quest to unravel the secrets hidden within the Bubble Nebula's radiant folds. The grandeur of the Bubble Nebula's narrative lies in its complexity and the mysteries it encapsulates. As we continue to capture clearer, more detailed images, we inch closer to understanding the nebula's origin, evolution, and its role within our vibrant Milky Way galaxy. It serves as a glowing testament to the remarkable phenomena that light up our universe, painting celestial portraits in the canvas of the cosmos. Number 8. N159 – A Symphony of Starbirth in the Large Magellanic Cloud Imagine witnessing a celestial drama unfolding in the distant reaches of the cosmos, featuring a dynamic spectacle of star creation. Welcome to N159, a frenzied hub of stellar birth nestled within our satellite galaxy, the Large Magellanic Cloud, LMC. At a staggering distance of 170,000 light-years away, this stage is set in the constellation Dorado. N159 is not a quiet, sedate corner of the universe. Rather, it's a tumultuous cauldron, bubbling with the raw materials and forces needed to forge new stars. This celestial forge is massive, stretching across an expanse of over 150 light-years. Yet the environment within N159 is not placid or peaceful. Instead, it's an astrophysical storm stirred by the high-speed winds gushing out from the hot, newly formed massive stars residing within the nebula. These intense stellar gusts are not just idle whispers in the cosmic wind. They possess the might to carve the nebula's gas and dust into a mesmerizing tapestry of ridges, arcs, and filaments. This is a category of nebulae that's associated with star formation where the raw elements are continuously churned, transformed, and reborn as new stars. It's like a cosmic nursery in overdrive, ceaselessly contributing new celestial bodies to the stellar population of the large Magellanic Cloud. N159 stands as a vivid testament to the dynamic processes shaping the universe. As we delve deeper into understanding these celestial nurseries, we come closer to deciphering the mysteries of stellar life cycles, and in turn, the larger tale of our cosmos's evolution. Number 9, SN 1987A, a star's spectacular finale in the Large Magellanic Cloud. The cosmos is a grand stage where a drama of stellar life unfolds, from tranquil beginnings to catastrophic ends. One such cataclysmic finale 
is embodied by Supernova 1987A, SN 1987A. Nestled in the arms of our neighboring galaxy, the Large Magellanic Cloud, LMC. Located 170,000 light years away in the constellation of Dorado, SN 1987A is a resounding testament to the explosive end of a massive star. In the vast cosmic theater, the backdrop for SN 1987A's dramatic demise is nothing short of enchanting. A brilliant ensemble of twinkling stars and delicate gas wisps sets the scene for the star's spectacular self-destruction. This explosive event, visible to astronomers in the Southern Hemisphere, literally outshone every star in the LMC. The remnants of SN 1987A tell a tale of violent transformation. The supernova's death throes expelled a cascade of material, forming inner and outer rings that now encircle the remnants. These celestial rings, reminiscent of cosmic ripples, nestle within an otherworldly forest of diffused gaseous clouds. They are like whispers of the supernova's erstwhile life, suspended in the celestial canvas. The hauntingly beautiful image of SN 1987A is a composite created from several photographs capturing the supernova and its neighboring regions in three different colors. It offers an intimate portrait of a stellar finale, shedding light on the final evolutionary stages of massive stars and the birth of supernova remnants. As we journey deeper into the celestial wilderness, SN 1987A serves as a reminder of the cosmic life cycles that shape our universe. From serene star birth to explosive supernovae, every stage contributes to the grand narrative of the cosmos. Number 10, N81, a stellar nursery in the small Magellanic Cloud. Venture 200,000 light years into the cosmic wilderness and you'll find an exquisite tableau of stellar creation and progress. Welcome to N81, a stellar nursery cradling a family of youthful, incredibly luminous stars. This celestial incubator, nestled within the small Magellanic Cloud, SMC, is part of our galactic family, being an irregular satellite galaxy of the Milky Way. The scene is set in the southern constellation of Tucana. N81 spectacle is one of the cosmos's most fundamental processes, starbirth, Within the cradle of this radiant nebula, we find a multitude of fledgling stars, their incandescent glow illuminating the surrounding gas clouds. Like newborns swaddled in blankets, these stellar infants are enveloped in their natal clouds, the very materials from which they were born. The young star's radiant energy causes the surrounding nebulous gases to glow, creating an ethereal celestial landscape of luminous clouds. This tableau is akin to a celestial family portrait capturing the early stages of these stars' lives in stunning detail. As a type of star-forming nebula, N81 is a hive of cosmic construction. It plays a pivotal role in the cycle of stellar life as it transforms the cold diffused gas in the interstellar medium into blazingly bright new stars. Studying regions like N81 provides astronomers with precious insights into the complex processes of star formation. By peering into these celestial nurseries, they unravel the mysteries of how stars like our sun came into existence and continue to evolve, shaping the universe as we know it today. N81, therefore, stands as an emblem of the timeless cycle of birth, transformation, and rebirth that unfolds ceaselessly across the cosmos. Number 11, NGC 5882, a stunning display of cosmic asymmetry. Embrace the charm of the universe's unpredictability as we delve into the intriguing NGC 5882, a planetary nebula that breaks the mold with its exceptional aesthetic. This radiant object can be found nested within the southern Milky Way in the constellation of Lupus, the wolf. Even though NGC 5882 is quite small, it emits a bright glow, a characteristic feature of planetary nebulae. Planetary nebulae provide a cosmic glimpse into the end stages of a medium-sized star's life, comparable to those up to eight times the mass of our Sun. When these stars deplete their hydrogen fuel, their outer layers expand and cool, forming a shell of gas and dust. Bathed in the potent ultraviolet radiation from the central star, this shell glows, offering us the captivating spectacle of a planetary nebula. 
While some of these nebulae exhibit perfect symmetry, with gas uniformly expelled in all directions from the dying star, NGC 5882 resists conformity. As captured in this Hubble image, this nebula features two distinct but irregular regions. It showcases an elongated inner shell of gas enveloped by a fainter, not quite spherical outer shell. The high-resolution imagery reveals the mesmerizing complexity within these shells, a labyrinth of knots, filaments, and bubbles. Yet, the scene is unequivocally ruled by the white dwarf at the heart of the nebula, radiating intensely. This dying star boasts an astounding surface temperature of about 70,000 degrees Celsius, far surpassing the sun's modest 5,500 degrees Celsius. This extraordinary temperature is the star's last line of defense, a survival mechanism against the relentless pull of its own gravity. The star's fight against impending collapse ignites new processes to keep itself from succumbing, resulting in its incredibly hot surface. In its asymmetrical beauty, NGC 5882 demonstrates the universe's boundless creativity. It serves as a reminder that cosmic rules are not set in stone, and the cosmos thrives on diversity, complexity, and unpredictability. Indeed, it is this very asymmetry that makes NGC 5882 such a captivating spectacle. Number 12. Spectral Echoes of Stellar Explosion Supernova Remnant 1 E0102 Within the cosmic expanse, dramatic changes occur when stars meet their ultimate demise. The small Magellanic Cloud, our Milky Way's satellite galaxy, approximately 200,000 light-years away, presents us with a stunning display of such a celestial event. Here we find 1E0102, a supernova remnant serving as the ghostly aftermath of a star that erupted in a spectacular explosion ages ago. A supernova remnant is essentially the leftover traces of a supernova, or a powerful star explosion. The 1E0102, specifically, is comprised of gaseous knots that, due to the force of the explosion, are moving at different speeds and in varying directions. Interestingly, this movement creates a compelling color display in the image captured. Those gaseous knots propelling towards Earth are represented in blue, whereas those moving away from our planet are depicted in red. This dazzling interplay of colors creates an ethereal tableau reminiscent of the star's grand finale. The velocities of these gaseous remnants are astonishing. The ribbons of gas are seen to be hurtling away from the initial explosion site at an average speed of approximately 3.2 million kilometers per hour. To put this into perspective, at such a staggering speed, a journey to the moon and back could be completed in a mere 15 minutes. The supernova remnant 1E0102 stands as a stark and vivid testament to the immense energy and dynamism involved in stellar death. By studying such remnants, astronomers are given the opportunity to delve deeper into the life cycles of stars and the processes shaping our universe. Number 13. The Spectacular Transformation The Calabash Clash Witness The striking metamorphosis of a low-mass star in its death throes demonstrated beautifully by the Calabash Nebula, also designated OH 231, 8 plus 04, 2. This celestial spectacle showcases a star, akin to our sun, transitioning swiftly from a red giant to a planetary nebula. During this process, the star expels its outer layers of gas and dust into the surrounding cosmos, resulting in a breathtaking display. The vivid image captures the recently ejected material being forcefully propelled in opposing directions at astonishing velocities. The gas, depicted in vibrant yellow, is seen hurtling through space at nearly one million kilometers per hour. Astronomers seldom have the opportunity to observe a star during this phase of its life cycle as it unfolds rapidly in the blink of an eye from an astronomical perspective. The nebula, as a consequence of this process, is anticipated to mature into a full-fledged planetary nebula over the forthcoming thousand years. Adding a touch of whimsy to its scientific allure, the nebula has earned the nickname the Rotten Egg Nebula. The moniker arises from its rich sulfur content, an element known for its unpleasant odor reminiscent of rotten eggs when combined with other elements. Thankfully, the nebula is situated at a safe distance of over 5,000 light-years away in the constellation of puppies, aptly named 
the poop deck. Through studying marvels like the Calabash Nebula, astronomers continue to deepen their understanding of the life cycle of stars and the extraordinary phenomena that punctuate their existence. Number 14. A Gentle Farewell. Stars That Fade With A Whimper. This image presents a captivating depiction of the planetary nebula IC 289, nestled in the northern constellation of Cassiopeia. Formerly a sun-like star, it now appears as an expansive cloud of ionized gas propelled outward by the remnants of the star's core. The core, although diminished, can be seen as a minute, bright speck situated amidst the gaseous cloud. Contrary to what their name might suggest, planetary nebulae bear no relation to planets. Early astronomers, limited by the capabilities of small telescopes, could discern only nebulous, smoky forms reminiscent of gaseous planets, leading to the nebulae's misnomer. Despite the clarification provided by modern telescopes like Webb or Hubble, which unequivocally reveal these objects to be the expiring breaths of dying stars cast into the cosmos, the term has persisted. Stars radiate due to nuclear fusion reactions occurring at their cores, which convert hydrogen to helium. A delicate equilibrium is maintained in every star, balancing the inward gravitational pull with the outward force exerted by the fusion reactions within its core. Upon consumption of all the hydrogen, this balance is disrupted. Gravitational forces overtake the outward pressure from the fusion process, causing the core to collapse and heat up. As the contracting core reaches sufficient temperatures, the helium nuclei commence fusion into carbon and oxygen, halting the collapse. However, this helium burning phase is highly volatile and incites significant pulsations. Over time, these pulsations amplify, culminating in a stellar exhale potent enough to propel the star's entire atmosphere into the surrounding space. As our journey across the cosmos comes to a close, we hope you've enjoyed this exploration of celestial wonders as much as we have. If these visions of the universe inspire you, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interstellar adventures. We'd love to know which image captivated you the most. Was it the ethereal nebulae, the distant galaxies, or the explosive supernovae? Share your favorite in the comments section below, and let's keep the conversation going. But don't let the journey end here. There's much more of the universe to explore. Click on the video that's on your screen right now for another breathtaking voyage into the great cosmic unknown. The universe is waiting. So, let's continue our adventure together.